yet as a problem here? A little bit. Okay. We've been kind of flat in inflation expectations in the last several years. We're starting to build a little bit of a creep. Um, inflation, we saw prices overall increase. Um, what was it? Let's see if I have it right here. Consumer prices in February had their first increase in four months. Gasoline prices were the, the big negative here. Uh, consumer price index up just two tenths of one percent. As the year goes on, we should get up to about 2% inflation, which will give the Federal Reserve that signal. Now's the time to raise interest rates because the jobs are good. Jobs are good, they raise interest rates. Low inflation, they don't. 2% inflation, they will. So that's what we're getting out of that. What's interesting to note is the cost of health care went down for the first time in how many years, would you guess, Mark? Uh, 20? 40. 40. 40 wow. years for the first uh, decrease in health care. So is that an indication maybe the Affordable Care Act's working? I don't have we a good don't answer know. to that. Yeah, we don't so. know. Okay, let's talk about uh, savings. And yes. is a real sign of the times here. Nearly half of Americans have no savings or are not saving any money. And it's not good. Oh. 47% of Americans are saving nothing, according to a new Deutsche uh, report out of Deutsche Bank. If it isn't obvious, this has a broad range of implications. People who don't save obviously won't have enough money uh, if they lose their jobs. Uh, longer term, people who don't save won't have the ability to retire. But for people who do save, we might be paying more taxes for people who don't save because we as a nation do support our elderly. Um, and Social Security costs are probably going to be going up as far as taxes go to help cover some of the shortfalls of savings from the 47% of America who are saving nothing. All right. Uh, many of us invested our football love with Joe Montana. Should we invest our money with Joe Montana? If you could. Um, <laughs> he just raised $25 million to start a new fund. Um, I was a little surprised when I saw this. He's the wealthiest quarterback now in the, you know, the, the, the realm of quarterbacks. Not because of his playing career, but because of his after uh, football career. So he's a smart guy. He partners with the right people. He has a good team right now. A Silicon Valley angel investor named Ron Conway uh, helping him advise on you know, 20 to $25 million. That's going to be really, really small seed stage companies. In the past, he's invested in Pinterest three times, Dropbox twice, and a company called like, Core OS. So uh, very, very savvy to, smart, uh, to launch a team around him with this seed money as well. Oh, and uh, we have a question here from David, an investing question. David's asking, Rob, should I buy a stock before it splits? There's two big stock splits coming right now. Yeah. One of them is Starbucks. The other one is Visa. Um, I like both names the long term. Would I buy it for a short, short term pop in the stock? No. Both these stocks are very, very expensive. Investors look for something sexy, a $100 stock becoming $50. I could afford twice as much. The truth is, no, you're still buying the same piece of the company um, as far as market value goes. But uh, stock splits are, are sexy. And one thing that I see in stock splits are high quality companies sometimes. Um, that's what I'm looking for. I'd buy Visa, I'd buy Starbucks, but not because of the split, but because they're great long term investments. Mm, thank you, Rob. And if you have a question for Rob, post on his Facebook page and uh, we'll answer it here on Cron 4. We'll right the new Storm Tracker 4 weather app. It's easy to use and features live radar. Swipe for current conditions. Custom forecasts set to your home and favorite locations. Video from the Cron 4 weather team. Download it for free today.